Hello and welcome back to Felsburn. Been spending a bit of money since you were last here. So we're down at the shop now and we've made a couple of changes to our machinery. We've changed the wheels on the 6155 to the wide tyres. And we've also bought the small Bredel lime spreader. Because we've made a field purchase since the last video. So that's full of lime ready to do our new field with it. We've actually bought field 19, the one we've done the potato contract on, next to our existing field 20. So as that needs liming, we've bought the spreader to be able to do it. So we'll have to go and hook the spreader on now and go down and get some lime from the lime station. So we'll just get this hooked on. I think the tractor looks a lot better for being on them wheels than the little narrow runs while we're on it. We've already given that field a spray with some fertiliser, so it's had one application already. So now we'll just head down and pick some lime up and fill the spreader up. Hopefully one spreader will be, will be enough to do the field. So this isn't the quickest tractor on the road, but it's plenty quick enough for what we need at the moment. And we will look at getting another tractor very soon. So we'll fill this up from the lime station because it'll probably work out cheaper than buying it in big bags from the shop. It's not too far down the bottom here anyway to go to get it. So we'll fill this up here and um should rejoin me when we get back up the field, ready to start spreading it.
So we're back up the field now. We'll get this field spread. It's got a crop of soya beans drilled in already. So that'll be a nice profitable crop if we get it right. So we'll make our way up and down this field and get over and rejoin us once we finish the field.
unfortunately we didn't quite have enough to do the whole field so we had to go and get some more wasn't a big problem we'll need at some point as you can see our field is now showing as fertilized and not in need of lime anymore but the um, weed coverage is coming across the map in quite a funny pattern at the moment so looking at this our field of sugar beet is now ready to harvest so we'll go back down the yard take off this spreader and have a look at leasing a sugar beet harvest and probably purchasing a new tractor and another trailer So hopefully the weeds will spread further down the map so it's a bit easier to deal with rather than just parts of the field. So we'll just pop this in this bar next to our sprayer and take it off and then make our way down the shop. Unfortunately my steering wheel is still a little bit um, sensitive despite having the most recent update which doesn't help for doing this bit. So, cut down to the shop, you don't need to see that journey again. So let's have a look in the shop and see what we can get. So we'll start with getting a trailer first. And we'll go for the Agaliner one because it's the cheapest one with quite a sensible volume. Leave the wheels and tires as they are. But just go for coloured decals. I suppose the white ones, there's no extra cost. We'll have one of them. While we're on the machinery page, we'll lease the sugar beet harvester as well. We'll go for the Grimmy Rootster. It's the cheapest option for the size of field we have, and the topper as well. So 185 horsepower for the halves to 85 for the topper. It's only really a decent sized tractor. Best one to get is probably the K7200. Decent tractor. I used to have one many years ago in real life. So 7250 would be big enough. But I think there could be a problem with this because it doesn't look like the tractor has a front PTO. No, so we'll have to reconsider that for a different tractor. Oh. Trying to find one big enough to do the both bits like doing them separately is going to be the issue for sensible money. John Deere 6R is an option, as we've already got one John Deere on the farm, but it's not going to be the cheapest option. So, would be the right tractor for the job. But to save a bit of money, it's probably to, better to go for a case Puma. So, I'll stick with the Trelleborg wheels. And we'll go for the 240, as it's got more than enough horsepower for the job. And we'll put narrow wheels on it for working in the sugar beet. So it works out cheaper than the John Deere for a bit more horsepower. And we'll use this tractor later on for cultivations work as well. So I think we've spent enough money for now. We've certainly got enough machinery to do what we need to do at the moment. So we'll get the trailer on first and take that up the field before we come back for the harvester.
just unfold the sheet as well so that can sit on the end of the field for us to empty into. As I say, my steering was still a little bit sensitive so it, um, it's easy to over stare at times and go off the road with it. Hopefully that problem will be fixed fairly shortly with another update. So we'll go into this entrance here. And we'll run the trailer up to the far end of the field. So what we'll do is bring the halves up this side of the field here. Then take the top headland off first to give us more space to turn at the top end of the field against the trees. So I'll time lapse the next bit, I'll go back and get the harvester and start the field and you can rejoin me once we get to need to empty the trailer for a couple of times.
as you can see we made a good start on the field taking a few runs off this top end gives a little bit more space to turn round and we'll start making the way back down this headland probably will get all the way down before we need to come back and get the trailer we should get a little way down there once we've emptied this tank full out of the harvester into the trailer we'll bring this video to the end and carry on with this in the next one the pyramid and the harvester seem to be a good combination together for this job it's just a shame the harvester's got such a small tank on it it's still considerably cheaper to lease this than the one of the big Ruber or Holmer self-propelled ones Hopefully there's just enough space to turn around in here without running into the crop we haven't harvested yet. It looks like the weeds have actually spread all the way down the field now. One of the drawbacks for dedicated servers, things take a little bit longer sometimes to spawn properly. So we'll just empty this into here, then we'll bring the video to the end. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.